Hey everybody, welcome to Old Smoking Steve's. Today we're going to be smoking up a meatloaf. And if you never had a smoked meatloaf before, uh, and you try it, uh, you won't ever want it any other way, because it's that good. Uh, we're going to pause this recording here, and uh, we're going to get everything together and uh, show you how we get our smoked and uh, what we do to prep it. So we'll be right back. Okay, here's what we're starting out with. Uh, we're going to have uh, two pounds of ground beef and one pound of uh, pork sausage. We just happened to have this in the freezer and was wanting to get it used up. Uh, doesn't really matter uh, what you use, uh, it's all good. Okay, here's what we're going to be using to season up our meatloaf. Uh, we're going to start out with uh, two eggs. Uh, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, uh, one teaspoon of oregano, and two teaspoons of parsley flakes. Uh, we're going to throw in a half a cup of ketchup, and uh, we're having uh, two slices of bread soaking in milk that we'll throw in there, and uh, one size uh, medium sized onion, and uh, we're using uh, six small peppers. Okay, we got our all tossed together in a bowl here, and uh, what we're going to do is mix this all up real good. Uh, we're going to get our hands a little messy, but uh, we're going to dig in and uh, get this mixed up and uh, get it formed into a loaf and put her in a pan. Okay, guys, uh, here's what we got. Uh, this is what she looks like, uh, all formed in a loaf and in a pan, ready for the smoker. Uh, we did go ahead and add the glaze to the top, and the glaze, uh, we used uh, half a cup of ketchup, a uh, quarter cup of uh, light brown sugar, a uh, quarter cup of uh, reduced sodium soy sauce, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, uh, kosher salt, and a little uh, black pepper to taste. And uh, this ought to make one fine meatloaf. Okay, here she is. We've got our grill up to 235 degrees, and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, smoke this guy. Uh, should take roughly two, two and a half hours or so. Uh, we are using uh, hickory to smoke it with, and uh, we're going to cook it to internal temperature at 165 and then pull it. So uh, that's what we're looking at. So let's get this lid closed and uh, let her smoke. Okay, looks like we got pretty good smoke going here with these hickory chunks. Uh, like I said, we're going to cook this meatloaf uh, to 165, and then it should be done. Uh, about an hour or so, we're going to go ahead and uh, throw some vegetables in here and uh, let those smoke a little bit too. Okay, here's going to be our side dish for today. Uh, we got uh, some small carrots, uh, some small eggplants tomatoes, uh, three little garlic cloves, and uh, a little bit of salt and pepper and olive oil. And uh, also we're going to have a few potatoes here as a side. So uh, we're going to get that on the smoker and uh, let that smoke along with the uh, meatloaf. Okay, we got everything tossed in the smoker now. Uh, we're going to let that uh, meatloaf get up to 165. And uh, we should be good to go then. Okay, says our meatloaf's up to 165 here. Uh, oh yeah, it's looking good. So uh, we're going to go ahead and pull it off here and uh, take her in the house. Well, this is what she looks like. We're going to go ahead and uh, let it rest here. And uh, then we're going to slice it up and plate it up and uh, go from there. Okay, here it is all plated up. Uh, looks like the wife and I are going to be eating good again today. Okay guys, we got our meatloaf off the grill and we got her all plated up. And you know what's coming up next. I got to taste this stuff. I got to do it.
Guys, there's a party going on in here. You got to try this stuff. So no matter how you slice it, no matter how you mix it, this meatloaf is the best when you smoke it. Give it a try. Hey guys, hope you liked the video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Or maybe I just inspired you to go fire up your smoker. So uh, either, either case, uh, give me a thumbs up, leave your comments. It's always uh, nice to read those and uh, be sure to subscribe uh, we're gonna have a lot of videos on here and uh, you don't, don't want to miss any of them thanks <laughs>